Hello guys, so I welcome you back on Jack Down Farms, your favorite channel where you get to learn everything catfish farming. So today on our channel, we are going to learn how to construct an air diffuser for our phones. You know, as a farmer, it's not everything that you need to go to the market to buy. These, these things, these are things you can construct on your own to reduce your production cost. This is a drip irrigation hose and then these are just PVC pipes we need to construct our air diffuser. Before we go on to the construction, kindly do all to like and then subscribe if you are a visiting viewer. For my uh, regular viewers, if you don't know what uh, an air diffuser is, an air diffuser is a device connected to your generator and then dropped into your phone. What this does is that it helps uh, generate streams of stream of uh, uh, bubbles from the bottom of your pond to the surface of your pond that helps oxygen to be diffused successfully. What this, uh, what this results in is that whenever the bubbles is created, it allows the oxygen gas pumped through your oxygen generator, which can be an aerator, to be transferred or converted into a, a liquid state, which is termed as a dissolved oxygen. So kindly stay tuned as I take you through how to construct a cheap air diffuser. So we are going to need some few items. This is a drip irrigation hose used in agriculture, a drip irrigation hose. These are just PVC pipes. It was waste on my farm and then I decided to utilize them. And then you need a T joint connector. This is a one inch T joint and this is a one inch pipe. And then this is an elbow, depending on how you want to uh, construct your weight. What we are going to do is that after cutting the size of diffuser we need, the size of the uh, irrigation, drip irrigation hose to the size that we need, we are going to create a weight to try and then sink the tube right to the bottom of your pond. So we are going to shape it as we want and then try to fill it with sand just to give it a bit of weight to be able to sink the tube to the bottom of your pond. This is very important. So uh, what we are going to do is to just to design it or to shape it as you want. This, with this design, I'm going to use the one inch elbow, two of them, and then probably PVC pipes cut into equal length. So this is how it's going to look at after filling it with the sand. So after everything, this is how we are going. This is how it's going to look, and then we will seal it after seal, uh, filling it with sand to give it weight. We will seal it with the uh, end caps here, right? Just like this, just like this. And then with our air diffuser, we will cut something to this length. Either seal one of the ends and then connect uh, a gas connector. This can be bought on the market. You can just purchase either a T connector or any connector. If it's a T connector, then it will connect this end to this end. And then there is an extra end which you will fix your oxygen tube right here just to transfer the oxygen from your aerator to this tube. What this tube does is that it has holes in it. So whenever oxygen is pumped, into this tube and then the pressure is built in this uh, it turns out to create uh, bubbles whenever it's dropped to the bottom of your pond so kindly stay tuned as i take you through again so guys after filling our tube with uh, sand this is how everything looks so we just need to seal the ends with the one inch end cap and then we are good to go as you can see i did not use any sort of glue in constructing this it is not necessary to use any glue but if you want to secure it then fine you can go ahead but then this is strong enough to, to, to last so this is how the weight looks like if someone is asking why is it necessary to get an aerator and then go through all the stress to get a diffuser and all that aeration is very important to the growth rate of your catfish it helps them to convert the feed drop in the pond water to body mass for you so it's very important to to uh, aerate your pond it also helps to maintain the water perimeters it also removes odor from your pond so many uh, benefits of aeration i have another video 
on the benefits of aviation and why it's necessary to aerate your pond. So let's get to it. After securing our weight, we just need to fix our tube right onto the weight so that whenever it's dropped, it can go straight to the bottom of our pond. So what we are going to do is to use this tie wrap to secure it onto the weight. So this is how it's going to be done. I intend letting my outlet face this side. So this is a simple and cost effective air diffuser. After everything, I'll test it in one of my pumps and then you'll get to see how it aerates my pond. I want I I used to uh, purchase these air stones, but then the disadvantage with the air stone is that with time, with time you can see the diffusion or the bubble rate reduces because the fins are blocked with uh, substances or solids in your pond. So this is how everything is going to look after I secure it. You just need to make sure that you don't tight it enough to block the airways of the drip irrigation hose. I'm always saying this is cost effective because the whole bundle of this costs me around 100 Ghana CDs. The tube wouldn't cost anything because it was just waste on my farm. And then a diffuser of this size will cost you around uh, no less than 150 to 200 CDs. And then I can make about 20 or more diffusers from this bundle. This is just a half of it. I've already used uh, some parts of it. So this is how everything looks. Our weight, our diffuser holes, and then our inlet, uh, our inlet of the, our inlet where we are going to channel our air. So kindly stay tuned as I take you on the tour to uh, display to you how this aerator will function. So guys, this is a diffuser we just constructed and then this is an air stone that I was using in this pond. So I will first connect the air stone here. Let me turn on my aerator. You can see how this air stone is blowing. This is how the air spoon is working. So let me remove the air spoon and now connect my constructed air diffuser and then we'll compare how they both work. You can see the difference. This is a wide difference. The bubbles generated from the diffusers are very fine and then you can testify for yourself how this looks so this is a simple this is a simple yet an effective way of constructing a diffuser thank you for watching this video kindly like and subscribe to the channel have a nice day bye bye